Hello friends, welcome to BHP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. And in this session, we are going to learn how to create facility shift, workday pattern, and schedule in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management. So when we create inventory organization, and you can say the child inventory organization, we have to define schedule. Schedule nothing but a calendar, a manufacturing calendar, an inventory calendar. So in manufacturing application, we have the shift. So what type of shift we have? Like day shift, night shift, shift one, shift two, shift three. And what are the working hours we have? Working days, non-working days we have in manufacturing unit. So all the information required in manufacturing unit as well as in other application. So all those applications are tightly connected with the inventory application so that the communication takes place between those application so calendar needed to be maintained in inventory application in in manufacturing application we have to define manufacturing calendar so we define schedule schedule required the workday pattern so before we define the schedule we have to define this workday pattern and when we define the workday pattern, we have to define the shift, right? So in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management, we may have and we may not have create manufacturing unit. We have to define calendar in inventory application so that we have to first create the shift after that workday pattern and the later on we create schedule because schedule is required when we create the inventory organization when we create the child inventory organization and physical inventory organization so let's move on to the application and see how to create a shift workday pattern and schedule so this is our application uh, click on this setting in action click on setup and maintenance and click on task, go to the man, manage and implementation project. So in the overview, we have one implementation project, data implementation project and search task name is inventory organization so manage inventory organization in the procurement part click on that so we have the manage facility shift manage facility workday pattern manage facility schedule so this is the manage inventory organization let's click on that Let's search it, one data, click on that, edit it. Click on next. So when we create the inventory organization, the schedule is mandatory field. So we have to define the schedule, nothing but a calendar, inventory calendar. Cancel it. So first click on this manage facility shift, go to task and click on create. The name of this shift. So I'm going to enter Tata Motors. Day shift, right? The same name in the description you can enter the code as per your requirement and the start time what is the time start time for this shift so i'm going to enter nine and uh, semicolon colon and uh, we have to define am and pm over here right Duration, so nine hours is the duration, 
and in hours, nine hours in one day, right? And we have the category uh, work from home and work from office. Then I'm click work from office. And we have a shift detail type. We have the flexible, none, punch. So this shift is a flexible. The timing is flexible for that. And we can uh, none and punch. So I'm go with the none and save and close. Tata Motors day shift created. Done. Let's go to the workday pattern. Click on go to task. Click on create. Let's give the name of the workday pattern. So I'm going to enter again Tata. Tata Motors. Workday pattern. The length of the day. So I'm going to enter seven is the length of the day. And let's create the detail for it. Add row. So it start date is the one and the end date for it seven. And the shift name. So we have to define the shift name over here. So let's enter the Tata. Search it. Select it and then OK. So all the information. Capture from the shift name. Save and close. So this is how you can create the workday pattern. Done. And now the last one is schedule. So manage facility schedule. Go to task. Click on create. Let's click the let's enter the name of this. Schedule. Tata motor schedule. Now we have some category and the quarterly type you can select monthly and uh, this is the factor time you can select as per your requirement and the first day of the week you can select as per your requirement which day is the first day of this shift right so monday is the first shift first day of this shift and they click on create row for the workday pattern Sequence is one, and let's select the pattern name for here. Search it and select it, then OK. So click on this, save and close. Right, yes. So this is how you can create the calendar in our application, in inventory application. In the calendar, we can create shift, workday pattern, as well as schedule. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.